The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Over the course of the, um, the 90 minutes, obviously, um a team of that stature is going to have a, a lot of possession at, at home, but it, it didn't happen for them in the um, not in the entirety of the first half, but but most of it. We um, we played with a bit more patience. We kept it and came out and went onto the other side of the pitch when uh, when we got the opportunity. So, you know, we we passed the ball well. The goal we scored was was good. We won the ball quite high up the pitch with Jake Livermore. Uh, and, you know, sliding um, Solomon in and his finish was uh, was was a great start for us, and and then we found, you know, I, I didn't think they put us under pressure straight away after that, but they started um, chopping and changing positions. Son went out on the left wing, then he turned up later on in right side midfield. So I think we can gain some solace from the fact that the 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 team that played possibly the best game I've seen so far this season against Real Madrid battered them with a certain formation that they started with here and uh, we're having to change to, to try and cope with uh, with what we were doing. Say again, sorry. I'm, I'm not just reacted, the way they've prepared, the, the things that they've been doing in, uh, in training, they've been very, very good. Um, they were bright today. Um, that, that today, the, um, on the back of getting battered by Chelsea, what happened with uh, with Tony, and then coming away to Wembley against one of the the better teams in in this country, it could have been a disaster for us. But we set off really well, kept it going for a, a long time, and, and whilst Spurs had a, a lot of possession and put a lot of crosses in, aside from the goal, I can't remember and forgive me if I'm wrong, I can't remember an ap an absolute sitter that I thought oh, we've got away with that. So towards the end as well, we probably had the best chance with Solomon from, from that cross and Hal's strike from, from 18 yards. I think if that goes uh, six foot either side, um, Lloris would have, uh, have had a problem with that. Said that to the players, but like, you know, there'll be every team that's in and around that. And at the moment, it, it doesn't start as a battle. You know, a battle comes when uh, you know, you're in that position and there's not enough games. We've gone down to this position. We were, I think we were second, weren't we, at the start of the season. So it's been a, a huge fall from grace. Um, but we are where we are. And then you just look and think, well, if, uh, if, if the club can stick in another couple of results, good results, then you can go from there upwards really quickly. So, um, you know, we, we spoke about that in terms of the players. I don't think it's a team that should be faffing about in, uh, in the relegation spots, but it is, and then we've got to cope with that. Um, do you want the job more now than you did at three o'clock? <laughs> no different. I didn't say anything about what I wanted. I know what you're saying at three o'clock, and it's no different now. I did say, for those people who, who haven't been to the couple of press conferences that I've done in the last four days, um, I did you know, consciously decided um, two and a half, three years ago that, you know, if I'm not getting jobs, I'm, I'm going travelling, I'm going golfing and, you know, stuff, I'll, that's what I'll do. Um, but the previous 18 months before that, I was trying to get jobs and it wasn't happening. So um, this has whetted my appetite again. I enjoyed being on that, um, that touchline. I think I'm good at it. There are, I don't know, some, there's obviously some reason why I'm not working, but it hasn't made any difference to myself in terms of the 90 minutes that we've played today on this job, that's for the board to decide what uh, what they're doing. Um, you know, we we hear things all the time. The only thing that I can do is um, is, is just tell you that um, I was asked Monday Monday morning to take the team in the uh, in the interim period, and who knows how long an interim period is. So tomorrow they'll be in for recovery. Um, Monday they'll be in for preparation for the Newcastle game and then we play Newcastle on Tuesday. If I'm involved in that, they'll get, they'll get my best. If I'm not, fine. There's, there's, there's nothing I can do and, and, and it's not as if I'll be like, you know, upset about it. I've, I've been in this a long time. The club's probably fortunate in as much as like, you know, they need somebody to try and steady the ship 
with what's been what's been happening and you know I've uh, I've taken over 650 games so it's not as if I'm from the youth team and like using this as a a, a job advert who's that no I made um, two with Alan Nyon going in at um, the right side center half spot the idea was um, I wanted us to get a little bit higher with the uh, with the team doing the same things but higher up to start engaging um, Tottenham a little bit higher and in doing so we I wanted them and, and it did much better in the first half than it did the second um, the pace of Nyon down the right hand side and the pace of Johnny on the left hand side so there were two big decisions in terms of Sam I think he's, he's going to have a great future as a, as a footballer he's, um, he's got a lot of qualities and as I say, we've, we've had some players not playing well enough to keep the place week in, week out. And I spoke at the, um, before the game saying that when, when you get in this position, any manager, and it's not, you know, things aren't going for you, you've got two choices, keep it the same or you've got to make changes. And like, you know, everybody does the same thing, you know, try to get a little bit more by altering this, tweaking that. Uh, and the, the reality is, you know, we played a lot better today than, than we have been doing. I thought they were brilliant as well. You know, I know this is a like you know, it's a great thing for for any away support to come and um, you know see their club at, uh, at Wembley because it's been a it's been a long time um, for them. But from my own point of view, I, I enjoyed that. that. I've always had a, a good rapport for them. I've got all the time in the world for them, and. Um, you know, I thought they were really good. You know, the, the noise was, was coming from them. The only thing, the noise that I heard from Tottenham most of the time was, was slaughtering Ben for what they deemed for taking too long. And yet I'm, I'm looking and I didn't think the amount of time Ben was taking was dissimilar to the, um, to the, the amount of time Hugo was take, taking at the other end. So we had to speak about that half time, that we don't bring the crowd into it because, like, you know, with the result, the way that it's going, the way our supporters was going, we were doing fine, and we, the last thing we needed was, um, you know, to to give them an opportunity to get into it. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't. I, 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 you'd have to time them and then see if there was actually something. But it was like, you know, <laughs> he won't be the first goalkeeper to take his time when, um, you know, because I was um, I was criticising him early on when we were one nil up. He was he was going too quickly forward. He did, there was one occasion he nearly put somebody in so you can't have it both ways but there'll be no criticism he's a fantastic goalkeeper and a great lad can I just confirm Gary just that we're in London um, so you want the job oh no 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 <laughs> don't, don't confirm that I've said it, it makes no difference for me I've never said I want the job and I'm not saying it now so you can't confirm or deny it I've just no, sorry I'm, I don't I don't want to be rude I'm not I'm not trying to be rude uh, but when I've been asked the question it, it's always the same the same stuff when we're in this scenario I've just said I haven't given it any thought you know I've, I didn't apply for jobs for three years I'm put in this position and we haven't got a manager at the moment all this caretaker manager and all that there's no such thing you know because it's not the same thing you're not signing players you're not moving players on you know you can always turn around and say to the players well you know I might not be here for too long when you come and uh, see me about why you're not playing when you're the manager you can't do those things so I've never said and I won't say that I'm interested in a job if they turn around and somebody else comes in first thing tomorrow morning fine I'll, uh, I'll just speak to them tell them what I know about the squad and the, the goings on at the, uh, at the club and you know, if, if the worst comes to the worst and, and I don't get offered a job somewhere else, I'll go travelling and playing golf badly again. But Say again? It, it has. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, I dealt with that. It, it's whetted my appetite. I've enjoyed it. But I've enjoyed being alongside Tone as well. I've enjoyed, they call it banter nowadays, I don't know what that is. But, you know, having, having a laugh and a natter and, and, and a... You know, just being amongst football people again, I've really enjoyed that. You know, you saw today Jerry Francis was on the uh, on the touchline, and you could see the sparkle in his eyes as well. At, at uh, I don't be rude, the age that Jerry's at and the career he's had, he loved it as well today. So, it does give you that. And um, you know, the one thing that it, it will do is that um, I've been offered a couple of jobs in the last couple of years, but I'm not going to traipse up and down the country 
at, at my age for two dead frogs and a conquer each week. I'm, I'm, you know, I'll either do it properly or I'll, I'll just go travelling. Okay, guys. I'll do it all. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.